Hi guys and welcome to this new tutorial about Blender and Geometry Notes. Today I'm going to show you two tips about uh, converting mesh to curve if you want to, to have a correct trimming of these curve results. So let's get started. I'm working with the uh, Blender version 3.3.1 but you can use the next versions of Blender and I want to talk about these. First the case when you have a mesh so I add with shift a plane you have a mesh with a for edges. If you go in the plus general and geometry nodes, you can see these. I want to add a geometry nodes modifier and imagine that you want to trim this mesh. So to be able to trim this mesh, you need to convert this mesh to a curve and normally you link these and Blender transforms this mesh in a curve. But if you use the trim curve directly on this mesh, you can notice this. Nothing happens because while converting the mesh to a curve, Blender creates a cyclic curve and the trim curve doesn't work with a cyclic curve. So first of all, you need to set cyclic and leave this check disabled and now you can see this weird effect so you can see the trimming behavior start from zero and end to one to the last index of this non-cyclic curve but you need to close the entire mesh curve so how do you fix this i will show you two methods one for a single mesh curve that you want to convert in a curve and one for multiple curves that are in the same mesh okay I rename this plane in a single curve mesh you need to think this you have this behavior you have these indexes and to fix this problem you need to start from the original mesh convert this in a non cyclic curve reconvert the curve to mesh again and in this case I have edges here and we want to extrude this index another time but pointing the new index position so the fourth index to the position of the first index of the entire curve this is very very simple because we need to extrude the mesh and we need to select the vertices and you can see this behavior so I don't need to extrude all these vertices but only the last to get the last index I need a domain size uh, node that can give me the number of point count of a mesh connected to the input here and now remember that point count count the total number of indexes so here we have four indexes but we need to extrude the index three okay so to do this we need to subtract to this result one link these to the selection not exactly. You can see the selection here is a boolean result and here we have a number so we need to have a boolean result, a boolean check to get the correct selection of the vertices in this extrude mesh. So uh, it's simple you can easily calculate if this result is equal to each index of each vertices. So if we have this integer equal to the index of our vertices, I want the selection. And this is uh, very easy because uh, for each vertex of this shape, Blender calculates this equal operation. Zero is equal to three, no. One is equal to three, no. Two, no. And three is equal to three. So the result is true and we get the correct selection of this extrude mesh. Now that we have these, we need to set the position of this extruded vertex. So to do this, we can easily connect this top output attribute to this selection set position. And we want to set the position of this vertex, this new extruded vertex, to the first index of this mesh. So to do this, we can use a fill at index utility that can help us to get the position, the vector of a point at the index z so we want the first index of this mesh and we want to get the position of this zero index and link this to the position of the offset okay because we start from the position and we want to link this now that we have the correct mesh we can't directly use the trim curve because we have an unsupported type
type mesh so we need to convert the mesh to a curve another time and now we can use the correct trim curve you don't need to use a set cycle node another time because this point that is set here in this position is not the same vertex we have two vertices but they are only coincidental okay now i can use the trim in a correct way from zero to one along the entire length of this original shape and this was the first tip so i can rename this in tip one single curve mesh i can select all these nodes before the trim curve node press ctrl g to create a single group press tab to exit from this group and now we fixed the problem so i can rename it mesh to curve now the hard tip if you have more than one mesh so if i enter in this shape i delete the annotation for a moment i go with the tab in the edit mode a to select all these vertices shift d x to move these here and g y here i disable for a moment these mesh to curve deep geometry nodes tab to exit and you can see these two faces in the same mesh press tab i want to delete for example these vertices so press delete this all vertices and this is the result so now if i enable these uh, geometry nodes result you can see this weird effect so our computational workflow doesn't work here because it take the last index of the entire mesh and extrude this vertex connecting it to the first of the entire mesh okay this is wrong and another bad result is that for the first part of the entire mesh for the first curve of the mesh i have not an extruded vertex here i want to extrude this vertex and connect it here to the first index of the first curve and extrude this last vertex of the second curve and connect to the first index of the same curve okay this is a, a little tricky but following this instruction you can easily solve this problem so disable this geometry nodes we need a new geometry nodes for this case press new meshes to curve tip and now here we have the new geometry nodes modifier first of all as described before we need to convert the mesh to curve because we have always the problem with an initial cyclic curves that we don't don't want so we need to set the cyclic to poles for all the curves that blender creates select all these nodes ctrl j to avoid cyclic next i thought to this solution so we have an index for each vertex of this entire mesh so we have zero one two three maybe four five and six if you use the index attribute so the index field you get this sequence the entire sequence of the index of the entire mesh or the entire control points of your splines or curves so in our case we need not only this attribute but also this new node the spline parameter so the difference between this index and the index of this spline parameter is that this index get us uh, the entire sequence of the indexes of the entire mesh or the entire number of the curves uh, while this index gives you the number of indexes index related to the curves where the index is connected so in this case we would have 0 1 2 3 0 1 and 2 so if i write this number here 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and 0 1 2 3 0 1 and 2 we want to store for each index of the same curve the position of the first index because to the end we want to connect the extruded vertex to the position of the first index of this curve and this extruded vertex to the position of this first index of this curve so to do this 
you can see this relationship if you subtract from the index of the entire sequence the index of the sequence inside the curve where the point stays you will have a result so 0 minus 0 equal 0 1 subtract 1 is 0 2 3 4 minus 0 equal 4 5 minus 1 is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 so you can see here we have the correct index of the first point of the first curve and here we have the correct index of the first point of the second curve you cannot use zero for both curves because you will get only this position okay so this is wrong and i can prove it so if i store for each point a position i want the field at index as before so i want to select the vector here starting position if I connect here the position of the first index here you have this context and for this context this store name attribute goes in this workflow in this direction to get the index and for each point we'll get the position of the first index so for all these points you will get the position of this index related to the general sequence of the indexes of the mesh so if I go here and transform the curve to mesh because I want to extrude the vertices and I want to extrude a mesh select vertices and you can see I want to select only the last vertices of each curve so how can I filter this vertex and this vertex it's a little tricky so we need to go here for a moment and we can select the index 0 so we need to identify what this vertex and this vertex but you know this you know that to filter only this vertex you can get the spline length node where you can have this new parameter that is point count that is different from a domain size described before so the domain size has the point count of the entire mesh so in this case seven points so if i connect this geometry here and press shift Control and click and shift control and click you can see vertex is 7 and the result is 7 so the number of the entire indexes of this mesh I don't want this I want to have a number per spline so if you press shift control and click to this set spline cyclic and another time here and another time here you can see in the viewer these two splines and for each spline I have the correct point count so four points for the first curve and three points for the second curve so having this value you can make a simple mathematical operation where if i subtract from this point one for the same reason described before because i have four points but the last index is three so four minus one and for this curve i have three points but the last index is two for this curve i need to subtract one and i can add a switch node here select a vector because we want to save the position here is a vector in the starting position for each point and if the index is equal to this last index for each spline i want the true result and for this reason i want to save a position i can increase this for a moment like this uh, position for example otherwise i want to maintain zero i want to save the position of zero for the other points of the same curve so i want to have in this case 0 0.130 for this index 0 0.130 for this index 0 0 0 0 and 0 and now if i press shift control and click here and here you can notice this result so you can see in this spreadsheet that only this index has this positive true value why because as described before you don't have to connect the index because you have here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the point count minus 1 is 3 3 3 and 3 
3, 2, 2, and 2. So you can see the only case where I have equal value is this index, but I also want this index in this result. So to do this, we need to connect not this index, but this index here. Okay, so in this case, if I have this layout, you can see this index has the correct values that I set here in the true switch and also this vertex. And for this reason, I can show you here with this way, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2. Here we have 3, 3, 3, and 3. And here we have 2, 2, and 2. And these are the vertex with the true value here in this result of this equal operation. Now that we have zero value stored in these vertices, we need to choose the correct position of this true input to store it in the starting position of this node. So to do this, we need to jump back to the original number described before and use this subtract result. So you can't use this vector because if I use this technique, you can see in the spreadsheet, you get always the position of the first index for both of these vertices. This is what I don't want. I drop this domain size for a moment. I need to get for each point the correct green highlight position. So so this result here. So to do this, I need to add a math operation when I want to subtract from the entire sequence of index for each entire index what I want to subtract the index of the single point in the spline. So I need to connect this here and this result here for fill at index. And you can see the different result here for the fourth index. So for this point, I have the position of this index and for this vertex, so this index here, this vertex, I stored the correct position of this point. This method is very, very useful when you want to get a relationship between indexes of your mesh to get the correct information of a position, tangent, normal, etc. This is very, very important. And now that we have these results, we can collapse this node a little bit. This and these, we can select these nodes, Ctrl J, F2, get first position of each curve, select these nodes, Ctrl J, F2, set destination position only for the last point of each curve. Now I can convert the curves to a mesh, and now I want to extrude this mesh. So how can I do this? I unmute for a moment and you can see all the vertices are extruded. Now in the spreadsheet, if you select the vertex here, you can see the correct starting position column and you can see the correct position we want. But I want to select only these two vertices. So to do this, we can ask the new named attribute that we call starting position. And this is a vector. And if we calculate the absolute for security reason because I saw in other context uh, minus zero minus zero and zero so not the perfect uh, zeros value okay I calculate the absolute value of these and if this is not equal to a perfect uh, zeros value with no epsilon I want to filter these vertices so with these three nodes I select only the vertices that have a vector value of the starting pose not equal to zero. Okay, so in our case, we have a value only for the fourth and the seventh index. So these and these. Now that we extrude this mesh, we want to set position of only these extruded vertices. So we have here two vertices and not one. Where so this is very easy. We want to set the same position of the starting position. And because we have here two selected vertices, we have here a top that includes two only vertices.
vertices and for each vertex it will set the position of the indexed starting position for each index so the result of these vector values for these set position contains only two vectors result one for this point and one for this point now we can collapse these collapse these move these a little bit we can select all these nodes ctrl j f2 extrude and position only vertices that has a desk position now if i select all these nodes press ctrl g to create a group press tab to exit from this group i can add here a trim curve link here and you can see here we have a problem because we need to enter in this workflow and because we have these uh, meshes we need to convert the mesh to curve another time press start to exit now we have a correct trim curve node and we can use the correct trim for our curve i hide for a moment this annotation and you can see the correct trimming feature based by mesh curve and if you want to randomize these i can add another tip for this you can get the index of each spline and to do this we can use an interpolate domain when i want to get the index of each spline and this is the context that we want to connect to this trim curve because this trim curve works in spline domain and for that when i link these to these for example blender goes in this direction and in the same spline domain get the index okay so in this case i will get the index for each spline so i cannot link these directly because i have here zero for the first curve you can see it because the curve is gone and one so the entire number for the second curve so i don't want this i want to run randomized so i want to add a random value here and i want to set a different seed to get a different value of this random float number and link this to the end and now i have a static number so if i increase or decrease this number here i can play with trim of our curves as i want the same for the start if i want a similar result for the color if you want to use this method you can use this in index to have a random value from 0 to 1 to get the correct color of a color ramp so i can capture for each point what the value of this index spline so instead of connecting these directly i need to use an integer here because here we have a integer as an output and because we have a sequence of linear indexes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc for our curves i want to have a random value for each sequential index so to do this i can use a simple white noise selecting here one dimension and for each integer number here i want a value from 0 to 1 to the output of this white noise and i can export this to the group output rename this output attribute as q for example to see the result i need to convert this curve to mesh another time but using in this case a circle curve to have a 3d mesh fill caps decrease the radius as you want I don't care about this uh, thickness uh, issue and we need to add a set material here to set a new material color mesh select color mesh and we want to change the color for example for each of these curves so i can go to the shading editor and here i can add the attribute that i called q here and you can see if i press shift ctrl and click i have two random values from zero and one and i can add a color ramp in between and select two colors blue for example and here red for example and link these to the base color and i have two random color between this color ramp if i jump to this geometry node press tab to this and add another shape so shift d press shift a and add another plane g to move here 
press tab, press this button to see the material preview. I can use a different color, for example, a rainbow color. So select HSV far, okay. And I can manipulate the max stream and get the result that I want. I can rename these meshes to curves, for example. And if you want to use these uh, two nodes, so these node here are the mesh to curve for a single curve to your project, you can easily create a new file, add your mesh, jump to these plus general geometry nodes, add a new geometry nodes, go to file, link or append from this tips tutorial, double click on the blend file, go to the subfolder node tree and select mesh to curve, so you can add the mesh to curve group, not mesh but group here, and now you can see if I add a trim curve here, I can use the end trimming value as I want, or if you have more than one curves in your mesh, you can append the meshes to curves group node. And this is the tutorial with these uh, two tips. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from these two tips. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and check the bell icon to get the notification of all new posted videos. You can download this project from my Gumroad page or create this group node from scratch and have fun trimming curves in your project. See you to the next video. Bye.